1873, um, the control box for 1873. For the generator, it's in an AT&T utility body. Um, and the generator, the body, all the fixings that are in the generator, in the body go with it. So this one has 2294 hours, and we're gonna fire it up for you and give it a load test. Go ahead. I think they're, uh, I think they're smoothing out. There's your hertz. Your amps are at zero. We don't have a load on it. 240 volts. Charging. All right, let's do one at a time. Go ahead. Turn the circuit breaker on. Whoa. All right, there you go. Put down power. Um, let's see. Let's turn the blower on. There it goes. High speed. I'm going to turn the two, three thousand heat boost down. I don't know if they work or not, but we'll find out. Nope. There's one. Draws it down good. Hear it? Now we're going to fire up the compressor. Notice there's zero PSI. We're loaded. That's crazy. Now I got both, both compressor heads working. About, that was pretty close to 50 amps. And you can watch the air pressure go up in the high pressure side. So it's drawing good. PSI. Catch it up. And let her down. Thank you. There we go. Alright, well that's that. We'll take a look at the generator. Well here's the stuff inside. You can see the air compressor. You can hear it hissing a little bit. And then that air blower. It's just a blower. And then we got the 10 kilowatt. I believe it's a 10 kilowatt. I've seen some of these that are like 80 or 8500. They look exactly the same. So I'm guessing it's a 10 kilowatt with all the equipment that's inside here. Runs nice. Thanks for looking.